Hello, Jacob here again. Today, bringing you episode 10 of Enter the Gungeon. So, in the last episode, we. Uh, the episode ended up being an hour and 20 minutes long. Uh, so, I ended up doing one more run, and that run ended up being quite a long one. We went to the. Uh, we went to chamber number 4, but we died on chamber number 4. Uh, we're going to give the convict a go, seeing as the convict is pretty much the character that I've kind of neglected the most. So we'll give the convict a go. And we're going to just uh, go straight into it, I think. There's nothing nothing uh, major has happened since we last played, I don't think. No new characters have kind of shown up or anything. So, uh, yeah, let's get back rocket right into the gungeon. I'm hoping to make it to the Chamber 4 boss fight. Because we've only made it there once before. So uh, let's get back into it. Yeah, the convict is kind of my least favorite character. Well, my kind of least played character, um, mostly because I don't really find her passive is not really that useful. I guess obviously, obviously she does increase damage when she takes a hit, but uh, you don't really want to be taking a hit. And obviously, um, I'm not really a fan of her. She starts off with two weapons, but I'm not really a fan of the kind of sawn-off shotgun anyway. Oh, balls. Sorry, taking a hit. We should just have the Molotov, obviously, which you can throw out, which I... probably be starting to make better use of. Yeah, the Molotov is actually good. So, she's got that going for her. That was a crap hit I took that last room. So, I'm going to try and make this episode a bit shorter than the last one. Uh, I didn't mean for it to go on for an hour and twenty, but uh, it did, so... Not much I can really do about that. There we go. Um, that's just uh, that's just kind of how it ended up, really. Look at this big guy. Whoa! Just took a hit there. Okay, let's take these guys out. I really, I need, to, I do need to try and not get uh, complacent. Yeah, because obviously, um, I think it is possible to get a bit cocky. Because uh, obviously, because I've cheered, um, I've cleared chamber number one so many times, it is easy to kind of think that, uh, kind of get a bit cocky and think it's fairly and kind of uh, let your guard down a bit. But uh, you do still need to be a bit careful, even on chamber number one. But obviously, uh, well, taking a hit is obviously going to. Uh, it might not, might not affect you that much now, but taking the hit now can might be kind of uh, be bad in the long run for us. So let's just make sure we don't, don't take any more hits. Because as long as you're careful, taking a uh, you shouldn't really be taking many hits in Chamber One. Just because it's, you know it's fairly easy to clear, really. Okay, got a chest. We'll leave it for now. We'll come back later. So we don't, don't want to waste our key if we, in case we can find a better chest. As soon as we're playing as a conduct, we may have a go at um, shooting open chests. We find a uh, kind of brown chest, we might shoot it open. Oh, I've got a shopkeeper here. The Huntsman. It's a new weapon. Uh, I haven't got enough to buy it though. Okay, let's make our way up here. Carry on exploring. Okay, more pumpkins. Take them out. Oh, probably one enemy for that, uh, that room. Okay, there's a chest here. Let's get stuck in. Get to the chest. That's quite a few ah, okay. There's going to be a lot of enemies in this room because this room, this room always has a, a lot of enemies in it. Uh, hopefully, uh, if you are watching this, you're kind of enjoying these episodes. Um, I am trying to. I'm kind of experimenting with the kind of formula to a certain degree. Like. Um, I've been recording most of my runs in the game, but I'm not kind of like as the kind of more this uh, the series goes on. I'm kind of hoping to maybe mix it up a bit at some point. Maybe maybe kind of make some kind of tips and tricks videos once uh, once I kind of maybe once I kind of finish the game and um, once I kind of get familiar familiarise myself with kind of all the kind of weapons. That would actually be quite a good idea to maybe do kind of a weapon guide of every weapon in the game. That's uh, that's a good idea for a video. I might do that at some point. 
Obviously, um, I do want to make content for this game for a long time. But uh, at some point, like once I kind of finish the game, that'll be kind of the end of the kind of let's play, I guess, or the kind of playthrough, and then I have to switch to making very different different styles of videos. Because I'm hoping to kind of I'm hoping this game has quite long legs. Hopefully, it does. Okay, it's good. Oh, oh shit! There's a blank there. Let's go back and get that blank at some point. Uh, yeah, I could do like I could do um, weapon guides. Obviously, weapon guide would be a good idea because obviously our, I have a lot of weapons in the game. So a weapon guide would be handy for people, I think. Maybe we could do a boss guides as well. Or the bosses are kind of fairly self-explanatory, really. Let's go get that blank. Let's go get the uh, chest. Table up. Okay, another blue chest. We'll probably open one of them. I actually need the toilet, so I'm going to uh, go to the toilet and I'll be back in a second. I'll ed edit this out, of course. Okay, uh, I'm back. So this uh camera clearing out chamber number one. Oh, got a blob. Get the shotgun back out. Shotgun's pretty good at clearing out these blobs. Okay, let's see what the shopkeeper's got for us. Whoa, what's this? The Gungeon Ant. Okay, well, we haven't got enough to forward it. Uh, I'm very tempted to buy that. Let's uh, see if we can get a bit more money, just because that seems like one of the kind of more crazier weapons um, in the game. From what, well, it looks pretty crazy. It's uh, It's an ant. And I'm guessing it probably shoots out something. <laughs> no idea. Oh. Uh, that's the floor cleared, is it? Yeah, okay. We can't buy the... We can't buy it then. Uh, okay, so I'm going to... Let's open up one of these chests. So I want a decent weapon for the boss fight, hopefully. Hopefully there's a weapon in this chest here. No, it's not an item. Okay, well that gives us an uh, extra ammo capacity and extra active item, I believe. Yep. Uh, so, uh, I'm going to have a go at opening this chest by shooting it. So, obviously, watching, uh, I mentioned this in the last episode, but in Northern Lion's video, I actually found out that you can open chests by shooting them. You've got an item. Okay. It's, it's uh, mocking us for shooting, shooting the chest open. So, that's going to take up one of our slots. Well, we know now not to uh, pick up that again. But, I mean, when you're in a situation where you've got uh, no keys like that, there's no reason not to shoot it open. So, obviously, there is a chance that you might get a decent item, I guess. Possibly. So, we've got the uh, the Gatling girl to fight here. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. Okay, back. Let's try and take him out here. Shouldn't be too hard to beat him. So we've got plenty of uh, cover. When he goes up, when he flies up in the sky, shoots off his rockets. I'm going to uh, throw a Molotov at him. Obviously, the Molotov should be good against him when he's uh, stood still. Oh, dodged out of the way. So a bit of a shame to get a decent weapon, but uh, we should be able to beat him. We've got full health here, so it shouldn't be too hard to beat. We've already taken off about a quarter of his health here. Go on, wait for him to shoot off. What should we do? I'll shoot off his rockets. That's what I'm waiting for him to do at the moment. There we go. There he goes. The only problem is the room is so large, I don't know where he is. He's down here somewhere. There we go. Let's throw the mart over him. Oh, just missed him. That's a bit irritating. Oh, he's running into it now. Alright, okay, he's taking a decent amount of damage from the mart at least. Shot shotgun for a bit. Ooh. Whoa! Get out of the way. There we go. Yeah, we'll, we'll just stick to the pistol because I don't want to get close to him. 
You want to try and stay away from the Gatling gun if you can. Take him out. Let's go around the here. Go around the corner. Now, let's use our blanks up, I suppose. Seeing as they're going to recharge anyway. Okay, let's get the shotgun on him. And uh, down goes Captain Goal. Fairly easy fight. Should we took one hit because um, if you, I also learned in uh, Northern Lines video that if you uh, kill a boss without taking a hit, you actually get a uh, health upgrade, which I have gotten before, but I didn't realise what it was. But you do get an extra heart for beating a boss without taking a hit. So let's get to chamber number two. We got the Phoenix, uh, which is not a uh, great weapon. It's okay. It's still problem is it's a, it's a very it's a very short range weapon. Well, at least the oh no, no, okay, actually it's not. I actually didn't realise that. So the the fire that comes out of it can deal fire damage to enemies, but it does actually shoot off a shot afterwards as well. Yeah, I think I've actually. Yeah, I see. So yeah, the Phoenix is a is an okay weapon. Not not great, but it's okay. It's not going to be that useful against boss fights because obviously the fire damage has quite a short range on it. Out. Oh, got a sniper. Okay, oh, got a lady sniper. Ooh. Got the ghost. I got a blank at least. Okay, got the shopkeeper over here. What's he got for us? Okay, he's got the regular shotgun, which is uh, that's an okay weapon. We're not going to buy it though, not yet anyway. Ah, shit, we took a hit there. We can go and refill our health with the shock though, if we need to. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, fuck. Let's set more fire if we can. Ah, piss off. And he goes. So yeah, we're probably going to have to refill our health a bit. Probably should, do, probably should use a Molotov on that guy. On the uh, Lead Maiden there. Let's just go back to the shop and uh, refill our health, I think. Don't really buy. Don't really like buying half hearts because they're not cost effective. Buying a full heart is uh, cheaper. But uh, I don't want to die here. Set these guys on fire. So the fire damage will tick that guy down. As you can see, the Phoenix not a great weapon, but uh, it's a bit of an upgrade from your kind of basic, uh, basic pistol. So uh, let's go open this chest up here. So you really want to get a better weapon for the kind of next boss. Whoa, what's we'll fell into the uh, pit there? Ah, shit! It's one of these things. I'm going to throw my wallet off down at him. Fuck, piss off. Okay, got some uh, ghosts here. Oh, piss off. Man, we'll take a lot of hits here. Ooh, we've got the mailbox. Special delivery. Two letters by the looks of it. Teenage junk mail and one untrustworthy package. Well, uh, hopefully that's a decent weapon. We've got a chest here, which we... Ooh, what's this over here? Okay, what's this cell? Probably want to uh, try and find the cell key if we can. Although sometimes the boss does drop the cell key. So, well, let's, let's open the chest. Got the cold... Ah, uh, we've had this before. 
the Core 51. It's uh, okay from what I remember. It's a free bound, uh, free round burst uh, pistol. So we're low on health here, which is not great. We can't afford to never have a heart. So let's uh, let's carry on exploring, see if we can find some sort of health upgrade. We'll give this mailbox a go. Hmm. Doesn't seem very powerful, to be honest. died. Uh, not a great run there. Let's uh, have a go with the hunter, I think. Yeah, like, I'm not a huge fan of the convict, although the Molotov is quite useful. Hopefully this, will, this, hopefully this run will go better than, than, uh, than the last one. That was quite a pathetic run by me there. Partly my own fault, really. Partly, the, partly got unlucky not getting a good, any good weapons as well. Okay, what are these guys? Take him out. There we go, down he goes. Nope, oh, we've uh, backed up into a corner a bit here. That was uh, not great, not great of me there. It took a, it took a uh, pretty pathetic kick there, to be honest. But again, that's me getting too cocky there. Like, uh, you need to. Uh... Ooh, whoa. It's, it's very easy to get uh, overconfident in chamber number one, I, I think. Guys out. See if we can hit the chandelier on him. There you go. Oh, we've got a health upgrade. We'll leave it for now just because we uh, take one more hit before we need to pick it up. Got the shopkeeper here. He's got the mega dowser, which is not a great weapon. He's got the gas mask. Nothing we need to buy at the moment. Well, okay. I don't think we can. Uh, don't think we can afford anything anyway. Uh, there's the barrel, which I mentioned in the last episode, which uh, shoots out fish. Not a great weapon, but uh, it's quite kind of a uh, kind of cute. It's kind of a bit of a joke weapon that one. Uh, find a chest. Let's open it up. Uh, nice. That's a really, really good item we got there because it's a extra, extra heart slot. And obviously, um, shoots off a bunch of projectiles once you uh, take a hit. Uh, we need to find a better weapon though. So we'll take this. Uh, oh no, it's not. It's a full heart, isn't it? Yeah. So we'll leave that for now. Right, there's the exit. Uh, it doesn't look like we're going to get a better weapon. Uh, it's not a big deal for Chamber 1 boss. The Chamber 1 bosses are, because they're not too difficult to beat, you can get away with beating them with the default weapons. Just depend who it is. Like the, uh, we're, not, we're actually not faced the Bullet King in quite a while, uh, the Bullet King in quite a while but he is uh, he's, uh, quite tough to beat. Probably want a better of weapon upgrade for him. Ah, nice, got half a heart, sweet. Well, uh, well, I'm looking for a new weapon, but we haven't actually got a key, so if we find a chest, we'll have to uh, go and buy a key, I guess. Let's go out of the way of these blobs. The blobby blondes, whatever they're called. We need to kill, uh, kill as many of these as we can, there, of course. Whoa, ah, oh, took crap up there. And then one. I found a chest. We may go buy the key from the shopkeeper. No, no, no taking the hit was fine because we've got a uh, we've got half upgrades, haven't we? We left behind. Okay, so a room up here we missed. Okay. 
Whoa, what's a hit there? Ah, oh, fuck's sake. There he goes. Ah, oh, nice, we've got half a heart. So I think that's the chamber cleared, looks like it. So I'll go get our health upgrade. We'll buy the key and open that chest. Hopefully, get a decent weapon. Hopefully. Nice, the uh, health still here. It's not been stolen. Let's get a key. Right, so I guess the hunter doesn't. Oh no, we used the key to open that uh, that big chest, didn't we? Ooh, what's this? The Luxon Cannon. Automatic rapid fire with uh, big finale. This tricky prism requires uh, guile to wield, but with the right lens, fire shreds of solidified light that can slice enemies in their path, falsely them to have natural healing abilities. Okay, oh, fires out a rainbow. It's quite a long reload, but uh, automatic weapons are generally quite good against bosses because you can kind of. Uh, Probably with bosses that they're, they're, they're quite hard to hit sometimes. Because having automatic weapons kind of gives you a chance to kind of um, spray and pray without having to kind of worry about hitting them. If, like precision, precision weapons aren't. I find precision weapons aren't uh, as good against uh, bosses. It's because they uh, quite often miss. Whoa, whoa. Okay. I'm a bit too close to him there. So, let move out of the way. Okay, he's going down fairly quickly here. Oh, took a hit there. Ah, took a hit there. That's crap. Oh, let's go even in. Oh, there we go. So, swing for the ammo quite quickly here. Make sure to our pistol just to save the ammo. Soon. Yeah, took a hit there. That's crap. So, yeah, he's going down. And down he goes. So as you can see, that's, that's the kind of power of getting a weapon upgrade for a boss fight. It really, really makes a uh, makes a difference. I've got some keys. Got the clear go um, clear go ghoul stone. Passive and it gets poison damage. Oh, that'll be useful once you make it to chamber number three. Because there's quite a few, quite a bit of poison, quite a few poison enemies on chamber three. Let's uh, switch back to our rusty sidearm and make it to the next uh, next chamber. Hopefully we can find our ammo refill to refill our automatic weapon for the next uh, boss fight. Chamber number two. Let's uh, crack on with it. Let's pick up the table to start with. Piss off for you. Yeah, that one cleared. I got some blobs. Uh, please uh, stack it. Oh, maybe I fell on the hole. Let's take these guys out. So save that move. Put it out of the way. Use, uh, use some crossbow shots. Oh, nice what a key. Pretty sweet. So we've got plenty of keys for chests. So I'm starting to see quite a lot of rooms reappear now in the in the dungeon. Um Ooh, ah oh, nice, the uh, pet found us some health. So I've come across this room before with the kind of uh, spike roller going back and forth. Quite just the nature of these kind of games that you will see rooms kind of reappearing every now and then. Which is fine, really. There's always so much randomization you can kind of do. Look at these guys. That's one spawning in. Got that fireball if we can. Quite impressed we didn't take a hit there. Cubes. More coming in. Ah, shit, sniper. 
Now I'm starting to get a lot better at dodging these sniper shots now. I was having a lot of trouble with the snipers a, uh, a while ago, but um, oh, nice, thank you. Nice, we've got two, uh, two, two rewards. Okay, what we've got here then? Yeah, I'm much better at dodging the sniper bullets now. That's the supply drop. Handy if you've got a good weapon. Uh, not really worth it at the moment because I haven't got, really got a good enough weapon to to use it on. Like, uh, that's 42, but we could just buy this, which is 36. Which basically does the same thing. So it's kind of a bit pointless, actually. And the only good thing about this is you can call it in, obviously, when you want it. But we haven't really got a good enough weapon to really to use that with. You probably want to buy this at some point. I've never actually bought the, this uh, Prime Primer before. I don't know what it does. Okay, let's uh, carry on. Got some bats. Let them kill themselves. Kill the bats, kill themselves eventually. Okay, found the exit. I think I might uh, use my Lux and Cannon, empty out of ammo, and then uh, refill for the boss fight. I think this is kind of the plan at the moment. Might as well clear out all the forces just in case you can find a uh, find a chest. Oh, I found some health. I'm hoping to find a chest with a better weapon in. Well, this is not a bad weapon, but it's not a uh, not a great one either. Oh, uh, chest open. There we go. So we got the uh, got a jetpack. Holy shit! Grants flight, but resist, uh, restricts the dodge roll. Only a engineer with a death wish would give up their dodge roll. Luckily, this jetpack can easily be toggled on or off. Okay. Ah, okay. I see. So it lets us fly above uh, gaps, I guess. Okay. Well, there's a. Uh, we can't let him go. So we've got the cell key. Let's see if we can find the cell key. That's pretty cool. That jetpack. Okay, so here we can obviously just fly over the uh, over the gap here. Ah, balls. Hmm. I've got a blank. So I think that's the, that's the, the chamber cleared. I oh, know. This the room over here. Good job we've got a health pickup we left behind. Ah, oh, got a chest, sweet. Ah, nice, we got the uh, the shot grub, which is a decent weapon. So let's get to pick up the health pickup. And we will refill our ammo on our, uh, this weapon we've got here. Then we'll go into the boss fight. Okay, let's uh, do that. Okay, it's the Gorgon. Uh, shot grub is probably not going to be that useful against her. I don't want to use this one. So, ah, okay, we got, uh, we're actually resistant to poison damage, aren't we? Yeah, so we can step in her poison without taking damage, so that's, uh, that's useful. Ah, balls. This is going to make this fight a lot easier now. Get the shot grub out for a bit. Yeah, the shot grub's not going to be very useful here. Oh, this is a. Uh, should have uh, got closer to her there. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so we want to uh, avoid her pattern here if you can. There we go. So we've almost got her. Oh, use, a, uh, use our blank set me as well. Uh, she's going to go down soon. Quite an easy fight. Having this uh, poison resistance is uh, very useful. Oh, took a really... There we go, we got her. 
took a few hit, kind of took a few stupid hits there, but uh, that's alright. Ah, we've got the soul key, so we can refill our ammo here. So refill it. Ah, nice. We got the uh, particulator. That's a very good weapon. That one. Got it in the last episode. Set this guy out. My rescuer. I knew I had no choice but to vanquish my fellow lock to free me. An unfortunate sacrifice, but a necessary one. Go by my shop whenever you see me. There are many things in my stores that you may find helpful. Alright, so I'm guessing he's going to be in the breach, I guess. So this run has been quite successful so far. Well, I'll use the shock grub for clearing the next chamber, and we'll uh, use the particulator for the boss fight. I think it's probably a good idea. So we'll end, the, we'll end the episode after this run, just because the last episode really, really dragged on. <laughs> Bloody an hour, 20 minutes, that is ridiculous. That video is going to take uh, take a really, really long time to uh, render. Probably around four hours, at least. Probably maybe even longer than that. Like a shit hit there. The only problem is that I'm uh, rendering my videos at uh, 6 frames a second now. I used to make videos at 30 frames a Oh, fuck's sake. I used to make videos at 30 frames a second, but now I make them in 60, but um, I think rendering at 60 does make videos take a lot, lot longer to render. It seems to take about, maybe about twice as long to render at 6 frames a second. Seems to poison out. Obviously the nice thing about the shotguns is you can uh, shoot off the, once you poison the enemy, you can kind of just uh, let the poison finish them off, generally. And it lasts a while as well, the poison. Ah, nice. Thank you for the uh, blank. Ah, I found the shopkeeper. Oh, ah, okay. One of these things. It doesn't deal. It doesn't deal a lot of damage to shop grub, but uh, oh, the poison damage does kind of make up for it. If you can poison enemies, seems like there's quite a high chance to, to uh, hit the poison. Ah, okay, the shotgun. We've got lots of weapons. So we don't need to buy that. Uh, we could buy this, but I'll probably save the money for... Ah, here we go. There's this guy. Okay, we have to use keys to uh, buy stuff from him. We've only got two keys, so we'll probably leave it for now. We'll save our money to uh, buy some health later, maybe. Oh, this room again. I still don't know what to do in this room, if there's anything we could do in here. Let's go over to the left, I think. They're poison, so we'll just let the poison kind of finish them off. So we're starting to get better at claim chamber number three now. Although chamber number four is obviously uh, still quite tricky. Well, we've only made it there a couple of times. Let's back himself. Try and get some poison off. There we go, we'll let the poison finish this guy off. Whoa, oh, I didn't see that guy there. It's a bit irritating. Okay, we've got the totem guys. Whoa, he shot off a lot of bullets. Hopefully we can uh, poison him, hopefully. Hmm. Doesn't want to be poisoned. There we go, we've got him. Take out the big guy. They switch off to the, they switch to the particulated to take him out, I think. I, like, I, really, I really, really like these weapons that have homing bullets just because you can uh, shoot them around corners and just kind of not worry about uh, having to kind of put yourself in uh, harm's way to take enemies out. Okay, well these are going to be resistant to poison, so we'll uh, just shoot those off. So there are quite a lot of uh, poison enemies on chamber number three. Get out of the way. Kind of in danger there, there we go. Poison that guy. Let's try, try and poison this guy if we can. There we go, he's been poisoned. Ah, I see. The actual shot doesn't just do the poison, but I think it shoots a... Uh, I think it, the poison puddle on the ground is what actually poisons them, maybe? Oh, what's this? Oh, what's this? I've not uh, seen this before. This is something new up here. 
uh, mirror. Okay, we... Okay, well, we shot it. And it, uh, it did something. Apparently there's a chest in here. Like, I can't see it. I'm not sure what uh, shooting, that, uh, shooting that mirror did. Cube, got a little uh, froggy. Okay, find the exit. Want to explore a bit more first, just in case we can find some uh, chests. So you got this here. Oh, shit, you found in that bloody hole. It's irritating. So we're definitely going to have to uh, re uh, health refill. Let's let this turret go past. So he's going to be resistant to poison, the, uh, the uh, blob. Back to the shopkeeper, I think. I may just go straight into the boss fight here. Okay, well, okay. let's uh, try and get uh, a bit more money just to uh, get another heal. And we'll hit into the boss fight, I think. Ah, I found a chest, let's open it up. What's this? Drum clip. What's this do? Increases magazine capacity. Okay. Can't really complain about that. Has increased the magazine capacity for the particulator though. Yeah, yeah, it is the uh, it is the poison part of the uh, deals damage rather than the actual shots themselves by looks of it. Okay, I think uh, I think the jetpack actually might give us a slight speed boost as well by looks of it. Whoa, that's a new enemy. Okay, we've got enough money for another health upgrade, so let's uh, go and get it and we'll enter the boss fight because we don't want to. Uh, we don't want to waste any more time pissing about here. We've got plenty of blanks. So we'll use the Particulator and the uh, Laxon, Laxon Cannon. So let's enter the boss fight here. That's the cannon barrel rock, by looks of it. So I try and take him out. We did beat him with this guy in the last episode, so hopefully we can beat him in this episode as well. And we're taking a hit, which is not great. We're taking two hits. These are not too difficult to dodge. There we go. That dodged. Let's okay, shoot those off. Let's try to get, our distance, get a bit of distance on him. So the more distance we get on him, the easier it is to kind of dodge his attacks. Dodge out of the way. Ah, fuck. He's going to disappear again. We've got one more. Sh oh, uh, just a more we've got a couple more hits we, uh, get till we die. Let's try and, uh, try and avoid him if we can. So 
So we're doing quite a bit of damage to him. He's almost down to about half health. Uh, try not, just try and concentrate on not getting hit here. Because we can obviously uh, spray and pray a little bit. Let's use a blank here, just get out of the way. Use another one. Let's use our, let's use our particulator. Fuck. We've only got one more hit to a dead, so we need to be very, very careful here. That cleared. Try and use our uh, blanks if we can. He's almost dead. He's almost dead. We almost got him. Okay, he's winning the cannibal run. Use a blank. Use a blank. Yeah, we got him. Sweet. Hopefully, he drops off some uh, health upgrades for us. Yeah, okay, nice. A key, got a new weapon. The blooper. Close your bloop. Extremely high uh, knockback. A poor fam uh, facsimile of the gun that, c uh, that can kill the pass. Seeking uh, an alternative to route to pass modification. Time travelers would use these guns to eliminate the pass selves and take their place. Unfortunately, without the power of the true gun, this always resulted in ironic consequences. Okay, it's got quite low ammo. Let's make it to chamber, reach chamber number four, which is nice. We do need some uh, more health, though. We're very low on health. Ah, I see. Ah, okay, so it basically really, really knocks uh, back enemies really far. Ooh, that's a new enemy. Whoa! So great in kind of large rooms, I guess. Uh, okay, what else do you want to use in this here? Uh, we'll get the uh, shock grub out. It's kind of our go-to weapon at the moment, just for clearing these kind of basic rooms, I suppose. So we can't poison the books, it seems. So great for kind of uh, crowd management, I suppose. The uh, this blooper that we got. So for the floor, we've uh, oh shit, we're taking a bloody hit again. Nice, right, so got a health upgrade at least. Hopefully, we can make it to the chamber before boss. Although I'm not uh, confident we can uh, we'll beat or uh, beat him. Ah uh, yes, so the. the uh, the blooper we got should be really good in rooms with uh, with these kind of holes in them. Just because uh, rooms with holes with these kind of uh, holes in them will be uh, obviously instantly kill enemies. We can obviously knock enemies back into them with the blooper, which should be handy. Obviously, oh yeah, I just thought we got uh, jetpacks. We can just uh, we can just fly over, fly over here. So we got ammo refill here. Probably refill our Lex Luxon cannon, I suppose. Get a shot grab back out. Oh, uh, let's see one of these in a while. We poisoned him. Ah, shit. Go down, go down. I'm stuck here. Go down, please. There we go, got him. So we can't poison the book, so we may as well switch weapons here. Let's get the particulator out. That's that room cleared. So, so far, chamber number four is going uh, quite well. Get a shot grab back out. Some more uh, skeleton bullets here. Ooh. Whoa, let's go out of the way. Whoa, oh, I should have took a fucking hit there. The room cleared, looks like it. Yep. Let's uh, move on. Ah, I've got a chest, open up. Ooh. 
Big Iron. Big Iron is a strange revolver created by attaching additional barrels to a magnum. The barrels are not actually connected to the chamber, but they fire non nonetheless. Decades ago, Bulletkin learned of the existence of human gunsmiths. In the, event, uh, in the intervening years, they have attempted to replicate the art of guncraft with, with uh, mixed results. Okay, so it's kind of a shotgun revolver, I guess. Ah, okay, so uh, now we've got the chat pack. We can uh, go over here and see if there's anything in this room, which is kind of uh, kind of cool, I guess. Ah, what's this? Plasma lead. What's this do? Bullet component. This ex uh, passive. This extra, uh, ex extra planar lead was once part of the great bullet that fell from the sky, the origin of all gun dead, is softly, shifting between the material and the ethereal side of the curtain grows hot in the presence of enemies. Okay, we're not sure what it does. Uh, bullet component, not sure what that does. Oh, almost fell in the pit there. Oh, our pet, our pet uh, can walk over the pit, apparently. Okay, so this uh, make our way back over here. We'll give our new weapon a go. See what it's like. Well, it's quite fast, uh, quite fast fire, right? Hmm, seems alright. It's got quite a low ammo capacity, though. Quite a big spread on it. Should be good for taking out groups of enemies. I've right, got some uh, undead, undead kin here. Hmm, it doesn't do a whole lot of damage, mind. Whoa, that's a new enemy. Hmm, seems alright, this gun. Not great, so from what I can tell, but... Good good for a good sort of a... Basic room clearing weapon, maybe. We've got some skeletons here. Ah, oh, we've got a... Uh, whoa, you can see him there. Uh, we... Uh, fire! Oh, I've not seen this before. How oh, did we get in there? Oh, I can have to use the key, apparently. Oh, it's, a sh oh, it's only a shopkeeper. Oh, that's disappointing. Wasted a key there. We could buy one of his items, but we really need some extra health, really. Oh, okay, let's, let's try and kill these guys in the middle first, because obviously they, uh... Ah, oh, shit. They obviously spawn in extra enemies, which we don't want to have to deal with, if we can help it. Ah, right, I found the shopkeeper. Hopefully he's got some health upgrades. Uh, okay, he's got... Uh, oh, what's this over here? The Skull Spitter. Well, let's buy these half hearts, even though they're not very uh, cost-effective. So let's uh, carry on exploring. Let's see if you can find the exit. Yeah, you may as well. He's got no more keys, and... Uh, we bought all these shop... Uh, oh shit, there's quite a lot going on in here. We bought all these shop, uh, shop health upgrades. There's not really anything else to... Just to explore. Uh, I think the particulate will be useful here. Because there's, a, there's quite a lot going on here in this room. But we're starting to run low on ammo on it, mind. Uh, let's get the crossbow out and see if we can take this uh, skull out. Obviously he doesn't move, so we can obviously uh, quite easily just... Take him out with the crossbow, I think. There we go, down he goes. That's why he's coming in. A blob. Whoa, almost took a hit there. Got these little ones first, I think. There we go. So they luckily these blobs are fairly stake out because they're they're kind of slow movement speed means you can kind of kind of pick them off with the crossbow here. It's not especially accurate though, the, the uh, crossbow. There we go. Ah, we've got a... Uh, we've got a blank, which is not really what I was looking for. Let's get these blobs. Cleared. Well, at least we're, we're clearing the rooms quite well. We're not taking many hits. Okay. Let's 
guy out. Let's carry on. Oh, I found the boss fight. Uh, I guess we just go straight in. Not much but wasting much time. We can particulate out and the Luxon cannon. Let's uh, get on with uh, boss number four. Ah, we're not faced. Whoa, this is a new one. Not faced this one before. The Wallmonger. Ah, okay. Instead of Wallmonger, who's the Wallmonger? So I'm guessing he's probably going to very slowly make his way towards us. Oh, shit. Taking a hit already. Whoa, okay. Uh, there's quite a lot going on here. Whoa! Okay, whoa! He's uh, shooting a hell of a lot of stuff at us. No, he's... Whoa, no! He's probably gonna kill us. I think he's probably gonna kill us. Ah! Well, this is, we see uh, made some progress and found a uh, new boss killed by the, the uh, wall monger. Got quite a lot of items and weapons there, so that was quite a successful run. Well, I'll wrap up the episode here, because we'll probably be going for close to an hour. I still don't want this episode to be too long. Let's go see any more blobs we have to kill. Shouldn't be too, more, shouldn't be too many more, I hope. 13 more, okay. So a couple more runs should uh, get us that. Let's just go look in the shop up here. And that'll be episode number 10 of uh, Enter the Gungeon. But we'll do a couple more runs off screen after this video. Let's have a look at the ammo nomicon a second. Yeah, okay, so bosses only appear in here once you actually uh, defeat them. Good to know. So you can buy more stuff in here. So buy this and uh, this. There we go. Open up the Amenomicon. So making progress. Still a lot to see. There's quite a lot. There's quite a lot of weapons here. We've only actually managed to get once as well. So yeah, that's uh, into the Gungeon episode number ten. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, we had quite a good run there, making it to chamber number four. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to make a chamber number 5 soon. You can either say a comment or a like or a dislike if you want. Be much appreciated. And I shall see you in uh, episode number 11 of Enter the Gungeon. Uh, that's the end of this episode. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.